out of the way to push me to train and see like what can I get out of myself in a short period of time. This is Yelvi from Dragon Lords and I'm about to show you what I can do in three months. In one, two, three, four. So same thing as simplified, right here. You go palm push, wrap with your right arm. Down here. Six, in the parking lot. Actually, no, it's episode. We're appearing on my episode now. <laughs> Mukan Dong is my best bet. Yeah. Are you trying to, but although, are you here to win or are you here to challenge yourself? Well, I'm not challenging myself already. No, I, I know, but like if you really want to challenge, you could enter a challenge six is what I'm saying. So you're saying I'm not pushing myself hard enough. I you can always push yourself harder. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what we do. Yo, what's up guys? It's another Dragon Lords vlog. This time. It's my episode for training. Yeah. Training. Tammy just joined me. But fighting. Fighting. Yeah. Let's get started. Let's hit it. Uh, uh, it's harder. It's different than the simplified. Uh I got the first part because it's kind of similar and then there's this next part that is kind of different and to be honest, I haven't had too much of a chance to practice the simplified version ever since I learned it from Jaya so uh, usually when I do it, I'm not too confident so I'm gonna definitely change that and I'm just gonna get the moves memorized and then after that, I'm gonna start fixing every little detail Bam, bam. So we just finished training. Yes. yes. About like halfway of the form in terms of memorizing the moves. And just kind of oh, basically overwriting the simplified version instead, which is a little hard at some parts because like I'm so tempted to do like another move, for example. Keep going. Yeah. Oh, oh, All right. So I memorized it. I memorized the map. Also, the ending. Like, I'm kind of getting confused with the simplified one, so I tend to do it slower, but in general, the more I practice at the beginning, the more confident I get with it. And then slowly, I'll start to fix each section up, the body mechanics, the tech, and stuff like that. And then the last process is pacing. So pacing it out and just, you know, making it the best that I can do. So that is the plan. I've never really been exposed to slap kicks, so like the the front crescent. When Jaya and the other guys be teaching me, that's the one thing I always struggle with, and I'd always kind of fake it sometimes. I slap, but if I know I can't really reach my feet. But then when John messaged in the group, he said something about like the slap kicks have to be audible, so there's no shortcuts. I gotta actually work on each technique and perfect it. I do not understand like the basic kicks I learned because my background is Gojiru, karate, the front kick and then we also got the snap kick, right? Seems like this is a little bit different it's like a combination of both plus the timing of uh, slapping so I gotta figure that out which also reminds me there are different levels of kicking if it's above the hip or below the hip crap, almost forgot Jaya told me that <laughs> alright, biggest problem right now but basically my fingers keep being open I'm too used to being a little too relaxed. There's some parts where the fingers need to be open. There's some parts where like it has to be closed. So I have to get used to that. And I realized something. I think I skipped over the video on accident. <laughs> so I'm actually missing like two moves near the end. Now over, bam. 
it's actually different. It's actually so go here, punch. Then I go for another dip down. Ah, ah. this was my bad. Friends came to train with me. Hello, hello. All right, let's continue training. Got that, guys? No? Y'all just want to eat? Oh, okay. I won't disturb you then. What I'm worried about most is I haven't maximized my flexibility yet. So that's why I struggle to lift my leg or at least get that aesthetic, you know. Bros tomorrow. Yeah. I haven't picked up this bad boy in a while. Actually, no, pretty recently. Uh. Oh wait, this this project will be released anyways before this vlog. So, Hooksword Hunter. This was Hunter, I was using the guess. That was more fight choreography. I have to now review basics and then uh, find the form. It's been a long time since I vlogged. Um, due to projects and stuff, but I'm finally back into training. Basically, I'm learning the sword form right now. I got through about one fifth. Still really rough. It's movements I've never done before, or I guess like the combination. Like it's very, it's very flowy, different than what I was learning earlier, as well as what I was taught by many, many people. At first, it's kind of daunting, but I'm starting, I'm starting to get the hang of it. So yeah, it's just I need to get past the first section and then like slowly I'll be able to kind of ease my way into the form and figure it out. So yeah, I'll update you guys on um, my progress with that one month left. The other point of concern is balance. Just at that one part because of the momentum. It's something I'm not quite used to just yet because I was practicing on grass a lot which interfered with that different stances like boo boo or like the, the, the cross stance it's like a whole new concept for me all right so i just finished learning the whole form but it's not too like great but then um after going through it and getting feedback and stuff like that uh i'm gonna shorten it and then after that i'm gonna keep practicing the new simplified version for the swords, it's fixing up my lines. There are some parts where I slightly struggle sometimes um, to really like keep it straight. Hello, friend. Ah, oh, sorry. I'm taking my training spot. A lot of the parts are too repetitive. I keep track of you know the parts where I mess up because it flows into another part too well and I get confused. Alright, so there is exactly one week left until Pan Am's. Basically, right now it's more so of just drilling it over and over and I have to throw everything with confidence to be able to judge myself and then fix what I need. I hope you enjoyed seeing the process that I've come through so far from the day one of trying to learn Shaho Chen to basically completing Shaho Chen and learning a new sword form and not only that simplifying it. It's quality over quantity so I don't want to keep repeating moves I want to do moves once and good. I know like I'm like many hours away from the boys and it's really hard because at least they get to train together. They've been 
type things they got in the DMs and stuff too. So it's not like I'm actually alone alone. But yeah, sometimes it, it gets really hard. It's been a journey. It's one week left until Pan Am's. I am feeling good. And uh, soon I'll meet up with the boys. And when that chance comes, I'm gonna throw everything I can and get as much feedback as I can. At first, I, I honestly didn't have confidence in the way I looked, in the way I did my stuff. But when I was able to you know, do everything with confidence and just kind of like throw in, you know, everything I've learned from the past to like the present. It's like, there's value in what I learned earlier. So I, I really shouldn't have underestimated myself like that. I should learn from my films. What am I doing? What's done? It's done. It is the training crossover. <laughs> we are finally reunited. Uh, how many days? Four days? Four days before Four Canada? Four days! Four days before Canada! So my legs, I can barely lift them. Two more days into Canada and let's go. The boys. Alright crew, tomorrow we must rest. For Friday, we battle. We battle for the weekend. I don't care about what, what outcome we have. We're gonna show the world who Dragon Lords is. Woo! We're gonna show them our strength. We're gonna show them how skilled we are. Hell okay? yeah. We're gonna go home, rest, eat eggs, have a feast. And then when this is all over, we'll have another feast and more Gatorade. Woo! Yeah, boy! Super Idol the Alright then. Alright. Goodbye. Goodbye yeah. until well, until Friday. Friday. Alright, bro. This is gonna be some, this is gonna be Let's fun, kill exciting, it. scary. It's New scary. experience for Dragon Lords. Yeah. All right. See you, bro. Change, 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 change. Honestly, when I first joined. I didn't really think much about it because we were occupied with some projects but then after signing up and searching videos of Pan Am it hit me and I'm like holy, holy crap what did I enter myself into? I guess I'm considered backyard martial artist I'm going to be stepping on some pretty professional grounds. People who have trained for years and stuff like that. So this is kind of a way to push me to train and see like what can I get out of myself in a short period of time. I put everything on the carpet, and I'm proud of that. It doesn't really matter to me honestly what place I get, but it's more so like uh, just getting up there and performing the best that I can. Being there, I was able to see and understand ways I can improve myself. Thank you to all my friends who taught and supported me all the way. I'll keep doing my best to improve myself on this journey of 
being a martial artist.